Morning, guys. Headed for a nice little walk. Chase, you want to say hi? He's a sniffing something. Probably the deer. <laughs> so we're going to go for, uh, it's kind of overcast today, which is nice. I uh, just hope it doesn't rain on us, but we'll go for our little three mile walk, Chase. Well, Chase and I are caught in the rain now and we've got about two miles, <laughs> two miles left. So that's all right. We'll enjoy the sprinkle, cool us down. Right, Chase? And get in the shower when we get home. Guys, we didn't hit just a little sprinkle. We got a torrential downpour. I feel like my shoes are just like so heavy. Like I jumped in the pool with all my clothes on and my shoes. There's Chase. It finally eased up, but oh my God, I am just like drenched. I had to take the doggy bag, cover my watch, cover my phone. It was just like, wow, I've never been caught in the rain for that long. <laughs> and the poor bikers, I saw bike riders, they were in the same situation as me, except they were going about 10 times faster. So we're almost home. We are a mess, but it was fun. Okay, guys, I am hungry. I had a shower. Usually I come back and I want to have some breakfast first, but thought I'd show you. I'm, I'm in debate, so now I need to eat bananas. I made the kids ice cream this morning and um, made Jenna smoothie. So I froze a bunch of the bananas. I like to put them in the Ziploc bags here and I try to freeze them flat and then that way I can kind of stack them. So I got a bunch here in the freezer the last of my 50 pounds of peaches that I got in. A little cantaloupe, some mango. Frozen fruit, guys, when you have kids and pack school lunches, a lifesaver. It's already cut up. It's ice cold. I put in a little Tupperware and um, I keep it in the freezer and then I throw it in their lunch box and by the time they eat it, it's perfectly defrosted. So here's the banana stash. It goes all the way back can you see that guys like look how high it is the whole bottom shelf so i got half frozen half not frozen and these are good these will actually stay for about a week because none of these have bruises and they're ripe but they're firm and they're they're good they're perfectly ripe so i can keep them here in the refrigerator for a couple days and we'll see how fast we go through it but what to have for breakfast let me see what I'm in the mood I'm for. I'm going to go with a nice bowl of fruit salad. So I just get banana in there, apple, and oranges. It's going to be good. Maybe I'll make a smoothie for lunch. Just prepping up myself some lunch for later because I might take it on the go because Jen has book club. So I got to pick up the kids from my parents' house later and I might try to run some errands. So um, I just made myself kind of like a little Asian chicken salad. Um, lettuce, a little snow, raw snow peas, some uh, cabbage, some Gabonzo beans, um, some of that teriyaki chicken from the leftovers, and um, then I'm just making a dressing here. It's actually the peanut butter left from the dollar day. We did have a little bit of peanut butter left. Um, and here's some sweet chili sauce we had gotten from the restaurant. So I just have peanut butter and sweet chili, and I'm going to mix this all together and add a touch of water if I need to, to make it like a salad dressing consistency. And I'll pack that. I'll probably drizzle on top, actually. On top of the chicken it'll be fine i'll be eating it shortly so that's gonna be my lunch all right i'm in the car i am hungry i brought my lunch with me just trying to do a little shopping guys i absolutely hate the shop shit is jen like i like to grocery shop but clothes shop it's just so torturous i don't know i go in these stores and i don't know i guess i just don't know what fashion is but <laughs> i just like being real simple i like new things but I just don't like to shop and I'm just so happy that I have three little girls that love to dress up and um, I cannot wait until I can just oh and I will teach them how to shop on sale Jen and I would be good at doing that but I would gladly give them money to shop for Jen and I so expect us to look really fashionable in about 10 years but in the meantime, I'm gonna sit here and have this lovely salad and I got some ice cold water here and I'm just gonna sit and enjoy it in the car and then try to hit a few more stores and um, see if I can find something. Looking for some shirts. Just finished making the girls lunches. Everybody's got the same. We gotta get in the fridge and get dinner started here in a minute. For dinner for the girls, they want some pizzas. 
So what I do sometimes is I make, take these tortillas and I heat them up in the frying pan, I'll show you, and they get real crispy. I'm gonna put some uh, tomato sauce and some mozzarella and do pizzas for them. And then I've had this in the freezer for a bit. This is a uh, part of our leftover pizza from a while ago. And I'm gonna make another pizza casserole. I'm gonna use my uh, gluten-free chickpea pasta and some tomato sauce and layer it with the pizza because that pizza casserole, you can check out the video of how I made that. It was, honestly, it was delicious. So I'm gonna make that for myself. Jen's not here, but whatever's left over, I'll give her for lunch tomorrow. And the kids are gonna have a little bit of soup left. Uh, oh, I try to get all the onions out from the restaurant. Uh, they didn't finish all their, was it like an onion soup or something they give you to start with? So they're gonna have that. All right, so I just took the tortilla spread a little thin layer of sauce and sprinkle some cheese on there. You don't want to go too crazy because see it's super super thin. So now I'm going to carry it over and I just got my cast iron pan on medium there. It's been preheating for a while and usually I'll do this in a regular frying pan and I'll put a lid on top and it kind of like will steam and melt the cheese pretty good because um, obviously you can't flip it but I'm going to I think I got a lid somewhere. I'm going to have to turn the camera off but I'm gonna let this go it'll get nice and crispy on the bottom I'll show y'all and um, and yeah it's a really nice thin crust pizza okay so done so look at this see a little toasty you can pick it up it's like it's gonna be nice and crunchy I don't know if I could do this with one hand let's see you see how that crunches look at that that and ah, voila you see you can pick it up very easily mm -hmm. so i'm gonna plate these up give it to the girls and that'll be their dinner girls are eating the pizza how is it mm. is it good amy like it they all finished their homework so first thing they want to do is watch their little tv is it good mckenzie yeah Working on pizza number two, so they're really tasty. Good little snack, too. All right, check out this pizza casserole. Girls devoured the tortilla pizza. Doesn't that look good? Look how it poofed up because the pasta cooked in there. I did the chickpea pasta. And the pizza just kind of like, I don't know, it gets light and fluffy. It's really good. But I'm actually going to take, I've got this uh, kind of like Italian herb blend. And um, I'm just going to sprinkle that over top and uh, I'm just gonna let it rest here for a minute and I'm gonna have this for dinner and then I'll let it cool and I'll give Jen some for work tomorrow and I'm sure there'll be even more leftover so we'll just kind of eat from this for the next few days but anyways thanks so much for watching I'll catch you guys um, real soon remember to always eat happy foods remember to always make food with love and have a super awesome rest of the day. Ciao, my friend.